In spite of the many people who stopped watching this show after Charlie Sheen left, Two and a Half Men has continued thriving through its 10th season, and it doesn't seem to be letting down anytime soon. And as a fan of the series, I am very happy for that. This time around, we see the plot progressing into what may be Alan's third wedding, with his girlfriend Lindsay pressuring him to tie the knot. We also see a turn of events for Walden, when this time it's a rich lady who's taking him out and buying his stuff, as opposed to what his normal routine would be. It was especially funny when the producers of the show made fun of themselves by ridiculing both the old and new premises and storylines of the series during an after-sex exchange of words between Walden and his sugar mama. Being able to laugh at oneself is always important, so I give props to these people for being brave enough to do so. The main novelty of this episode is the introduction of the new character, Sid Olsen, a grumpy and witty old man portrayed by none other than John Cryer himself, making this his second role after years playing Alan Harper exclusively. I'm not entirely sure how much of a good move this is or not, as at first I thought the series was gonna take a huge turn by adding science fiction to its plot, by making Sid Olsen really be Alan Harper from the future. But when I realized he's just a new character or nothing else, I was a bit disappointed. I have to admit though, the way they showed both characters on screen at the same time was really, really well done. And I'm glad that technology has advanced so much as to be able to do this the right way. I still remember shows from the past when an actor would play twins in a show, think Phoebe and Ursula in France, and the execution was very poorly done, where you could tell the camera cuts, image quality on both versions of the characters was significantly different, etc. Compared to that, Alan and Sid played next to each other flawlessly. So, great congratulations to the visual effects team are in order. If Mr. Olsen will play an important role in the rest of the series, or if he's just gonna be forgotten like Magilla, Walden's gorilla brother, only time will tell. What did you think of this episode? Did you also think at first that Sid Olsen was a time traveler, Alan Harper? Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.